Here at Kokoraz, we put a huge emphasis on education and training in order to create the highest quality data possible. Thousands of people and dozens of agencies use and rely on the observations you provide to Kokoraz each day. Kokoraz observations are also ingested into the National Centers for Environmental Information and become a part of the nation's climate archive. But even the best trained and most experienced observers make mistakes. That's why we've created a number of tools and procedures, both manual and automatic, to maintain a high standard of data quality. You may already be familiar with some of these automatic checks when you go to submit a daily precipitation report through our app or on our website. Just like when you order socks online and you can't enter your address in the space reserved for your credit card number, Kokoraz forms have a long list of fail-safes to keep you from mis-entering data. That may seem like a no-brainer, but just look at all of the brain power that went into steering you in the right direction before you've had your morning cup of joe. As you see, these automatic checks weed out a lot of errors, but let's say one gets through. Here our volunteer has made one of the most common mistakes, misplacing a decimal. He only has 0.05 inches in his gauge, but look what simply moving a decimal does to his measurement. After the report is submitted, it is noticed by either one of the Kokoraz staff or volunteer coordinators. Let's call them the Quality Control or QC Squad, just to sound cool. The QC Squad looks at the measurement in question and compares it to surrounding observations. They look at multi-sensor precipitation estimate maps generated by the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service as well as radar maps to determine whether the observation is valid or not. In this case, nothing indicates that a 5-inch measurement was viable so our QC squad changes the observation to not applicable with some additional notes of their findings in the comment section. They then submit a QC ticket, which gets logged in a QC database. From that database, the regional coordinator follows up with the observer to resolve the error. In the event that someone from Kokoraz contacts you, it doesn't automatically mean that you made a mistake. Sometimes we may want to verify an observation as valid. For example, a very high rainfall value, surrounded by significantly smaller amounts, will stand out and may very well be correct, such as from an isolated heavy thunderstorm. You may be contacted to verify that observation so that it is not flagged in future quality control processing. As you see, a lot of behind-the-scenes work goes into making sure that the data you provide is of the highest quality, which makes it all the more valuable to all of the people who rely on these data. Don't be surprised or put off if you receive an email asking about one of your past observations. Our goal is not to criticize or embarrass anyone, but to make sure to create the highest quality data possible. If you are contacted about an observation by your local coordinator or Kokora staff, please respond as soon as you can. And if you're not a volunteer already, learn about joining at www.kokoraz.org.